environment consists of all the things around us, the living things and the non-living things. Let's learn more about them. Differences between living and non-living things Living things need food and water, while non-living things do not need food and water. Living things need air to breathe. Non-living things do not need air to breathe. Living things grow and non-living things do not grow. Living things can move by themselves. But non-living things cannot move by themselves. Trees move in the vertical direction. They spread as they grow. A car moves, but not by itself. It needs to be driven by someone to move. Living things have feelings. But non-living things do not have feelings. Living things produce their young ones. But non-living things do not produce. Living things die. Non-living things do not die. Similarities between living and non-living things Let us now study the similarities between living and non-living things. Both living and non-living things have a particular shape. The horse, the ant and the tree have shapes. So have the table and the chair. Both the living and non-living things occupy space. We occupy some space. The book we keep on the desk also occupies some space. Both the living and non-living things have weight. The man has a certain weight. So has the suitcase, which is a non-living thing. We have weight. The bag we carry to school also has some weight. Both the living and non-living things are made of substances or matter. The living things are made of cells, tissues, muscles and bones. The non-living things are made up of substances like plastic, iron, wood, etc. Both living and non-living things react to weather conditions, but they react in different ways. Let's see how. Leave a sheet of newspaper and an iron nail outside for a few days. See what happens to them. If there is rain, they will get soaked. The paper will decay. The iron nail will rust. Now, keep a piece of coloured cloth out in the sun for a few days. See what happens. The colour fades. When we spend long hours under the sun, our skin gets tanned. Soak your right hand in water for half an hour. Then look at your fingers. Compare the fingers of your right hand with those of your left hand. See the difference. 